We learned some time ago that the colon is the place in the body that has the greatest concentration of bacteria than anywhere else in the body. And it's been thought for a long time that maybe those bacteria have something to do with disease in the colon, including colon cancer. However, it's been unclear how the two were linked. We have also learned that there are bacteria that are called Bacteroides fragilis that are common in people and part of the normal flora that have acquired the ability to make a protein toxin that makes them able to cause diarrhea in children and adults. In studies that we did in Bangladesh, we learned that these particular bacteria actually caused inflammation or collections of immune cells in the colons of people who developed diarrheal disease. And back here at Hopkins in the laboratory, we learned that the protein toxin made by the bacteria are able to cause colon cells to grow and divide. And because of the inflammation that was induced in the colon and then this ability to cause cells to grow, we began to wonder whether these bacteria, which sometimes colonize people and don't cause any symptoms, could in fact cause tumors to be induced in the colons. To try to answer that question, we began to use mice that have a mutation that make them susceptible to tumors in the gut, very similar uh, to people. And to our surprise, when we colonize these mice with the bacteria, in fact, over a few weeks, we get induction of large numbers of tumors in the colons, only in the mice of the, of colonized with the bacteria that make the toxin, the enterotoxigenic bacteroides fragilis, or ETBF. We learned also that these bacteria in the colon induce a specific immune response in the colon called the Th17 response and make a lot of this protein, a lot of a protein called interleukin-17. When we neutralize that particular protein, we actually make the tumors smaller in number and smaller in size in the colon. So the main message we have is that, in fact, this human or common human organism, ETBF, is one possible organism that may be able to induce tumors in the colons of, in, of people. And in addition, the response of the body to this bacteria is a very important part of the process that may lead to uh, causing uh, tumors uh, in the colon. We're hopeful that as we develop tests to detect these bacteria and to understand them in people better, and also tests to try to understand the colon immune response to this bacteria or similar bacteria, that we will be able to identify new approaches to preventing and treating colon cancer.